Hey guys, I am doing another declutter and this drawer, this drawer, when you guys see this, hopefully you'll laugh. Um, it's just makeup. Hopefully you'll laugh. Uh, this is my second lip drawer. So we did lipsticks last. Um, so this is kind of like my um, lip glosses, my, my lip chubby sticks, like those kind of lip products. And there's a lot. <laughs> there is quite a bit. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, let me just mention all the disclaimers I need to mention uh, before I do a declutter. I will see if any of my friends and family want any of the things. These are lip products. And I think in my last uh, lip stick declutter, I mentioned how I just, I don't feel right about donating it because it's, it, they're lip products, they touched my mouth. So I won't be donating any of these. Anything my friends and family don't want, I will toss. I know some of you mentioned uh, selling these things. It's just not something I wanna do. So, all right, so let's get into this declutter. This is what we're dealing with. <laughs> This may be a two-parter. This may be a two-parter. So let's just go ahead and jump in. Um, I'm going to try and swatch some of these. I really like swatching these for you guys, you know, just to kind of go through my collection, but also for me to kind of just remind myself of what I have or whatever. Um, but it's going to be impossible for me to swatch all of these, but I will do my best. Like some of these newer ones that I just posted videos for, I I won't, I won't swatch because you guys just saw this. But here are those Tom Ford Lip Lacquer Luxe lip products. I have four of them. I believe I returned the other two that I knew I wasn't going to wear. So I have Darling, Insinuate, Knockout, and Quiver. These two are matte and these two are the vinyl finish. So I'm going to hold on to those. Those are relatively new. I have this Edward Best Deep Shine Lip Gloss. I'm pretty sure I did not like this, which is why it's still in the box. I think this was incredibly sticky. Is that? Oh yeah, it's like, it's like, like really sticky, really, really tacky. So I am just going to declutter this. I have my Rodin uh, lip oil, tinted lip oil for I think lip and cheek. I only use this on my lips, but I love this. I'm gonna keep that. The two uh, Charlotte Tilbury latex loves, love those. I have a Sisley, what is this called? I think it's like a Fito Lip Delight in color number one. I really like this. It's really not much of a color, unfortunately, because it's so sheer, but I, it just feels really great on the lips. So I like, this is like one of those perfect throw in your bag kind of lip products. Oh, here's a Decorte Lip Palette. I love these colors. They're just these beautiful nudes. But the texture, these are really kind of drying on the lips. They go on smoothly, which is why I purchased it. It was like I swatched it, I put it on, and I was like, oh, these are great. And then, I don't know, give it like an hour, and they just feel really, really powdery. So I think I'm going to pass this along. I don't know if you can hear my windows shaking, but there's a high wind advisory here today, and it's kind of nuts. So if you hear any clanking, that's what that is in the background. Here's an Il Maquillage um, Matte, what do they call Infinity Longwear Matte Lip Cream in the color Matte Dreamy. I don't think I liked this, so I'm going to declutter that. Um, I have two of the Charlotte Tilbury, um, gosh, what are these called? Super Shine lips or something like that? They're the long skinny ones, and people seem to love these. I think they're okay. They just have like a weird texture to me. Like they're kind of thick, yet sheer, and I don't know, I'm just, I, you know, I don't mind them. They're not horrible, but they're definitely not my favorite. Like people are really raving about these and I don't, I don't know. I don't feel that strongly about them. And here's one of those Glossier Play Vanillic Lips. And I have this in the shade, I think it's Pony. Yeah, Pony. And I really like this. It has its sponge tip applicator. This is relatively new and I like it. The formula is nice. It was really comfortable on the lips. So I'll hold on to that. And then here's one of the Armani Lip Maestros in 508. Love this, love that formula. I think I've talked about those enough. And same with this, the Clé de Peau Refined Lip Luminizer. This is the color Six Rose Dragi. I, I don't know why I have such a hard time pronouncing that word. Dragi, I think. And it's a really pretty bright pink. Very beautiful. Holding on to that. This, I think I need to let go. This is very old. It smells okay, but I'm realizing that I also don't like mint on my lips. It is 
uh, long term it is very drying so I'm going to declutter that did I even tell you guys what this is this is the Marc Jacobs enamored lip shine and this is the color 308 rebel rebel so I'm gonna toss that and then I have a Kajir I think is how you pronounce it actually I have no idea how you pronounce it Kajir Weiss and this is one of her lip tints and I just recently got this and I really enjoy it. So I'm going to hold on to that. And now let's uh, pull this over. Again, this is an organizer from Sunny Cosmetics, this acrylic organizer. And this is actually the acrylic organizer for foundations, but this did not work for my foundations. I just found that when I stood up my foundations like that, they were just too tall. So I ended up using it for my lip glosses and I think it actually, does pretty well, you know, because the, the squares aren't that big. So I have a link to the Sunny site down below. It's an affiliate link. Feel free to use it, feel free to not use it, uh, but I just wanted to point that out. So anyway, let's, God, what a mess. Okay, I'm gonna start with what's laying on top. These Dior lip, they're not lip glosses, they're like liquid lipsticks, but they're metallic. I'm getting rid of these. I really wanted to try and love these because I love the shades, but they have such a terrible, um, Taste, fragrance, scent, everything. They're just awful. So definitely decluttering those. Definitely decluttering this face Stockholm lip gloss. Incredibly sticky and awful. I am going to declutter these Bobbi Brown art sticks. I've had these forever. So I'm going to declutter those. Um, I see some other things. These are, ooh, Clinique um chubby sticks and these are also incredibly old so i think i'm just going to toss these i never reach for these anyway i used to i used to love these there was one color i used all the time is it this one maybe this one whole lot of honey yes i remember using this quite a bit but yeah the texture seems a little bit off so i'm going to toss those here are some uh tom ford lip contour duos this one is public display and it's got the pencil and then on the bottom is like the lipstick. Let's see. This surprisingly smells okay, but you know what's annoying is every time I bring up this lipstick, it's like I can't bring it back down. Like I think it broke in there. That is annoying, but I will hold on to this. Public display I think is like my favorite. Devil Inside is like a bright red. And then this is Show It Off. This is like a cooler toned version of Public Display. It's like a little bit more mauve. So I'll hold on to those. They still smell okay, thankfully, and the texture still seems fine. All right, here are some ColourPop, what do they call these, lippy sticks, I think? These are so old. Oh, I think these have even shrunk. Isn't that funny? They smell a little bit funky. I'm not surprised, I've had these for a very, very long time. Okay, so I will toss these. Here's a Clinique uh, Pop Lacquer in Nude Pop. I think this is just a lip gloss. I think this smells weird. Again, I'm not surprised. I think this is like four or five years old. Yeah, I'm gonna toss this. Oh, I'm definitely tossing these um, Jouer Pearl Lip Enhancer and Essential Lip Enhancer. I've had these for a very long time as well. So I'm gonna to toss these. Then I have the Frog Prince lip gloss, which I enjoyed at the time, but I just never use this. This is that color changing one. This changes to like a plummy kind of purple on me, which is not my favorite, but I thought it was really cool, but I really never reach for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that. Hey guys, sorry, it's been several hours. I hope the lighting hasn't changed too much, but anyway, let's continue on. Um, I have some lipsticks back here. Here is a NARS, gosh, this looks old. The color is Christina. It's this pretty like metallicized warm nude. Oh, actually it's really red. Huh. I never even think to use this, so I'm going to declutter. I have a MAC Cream Sheen in Among the Fireflies. This is freaking old. This is smelling a little off, so I will get rid of that. This is a Mineralized Rich Pure Pout. This looks brand new. That's so weird. I could have sworn I used this. This looks brand new, so I'm going to actually set this aside to donate. Uh, here is the Tom Ford Soleil Lip Lacquer. I think that this is what it's called in 01 Naked Elixir. I really like this formula and this color took a little bit for me to get used to because it's so light. 
but um, it looks nice with the right lip liner, so I'll hold on to that. I've got two Surratt lip glosses here. They're some of my favorite formulas, so I'm gonna hold on to these. This one is relatively new, and I can't pronounce the name. <laughs> and then this one has actually been around a while. Let me just smell this one. Yeah, this smells fine. So I'll hold on to these. And then we have this NARS uh, Full Vinyl Lip Lacquer in At First Sight. I actually got this at the NARS Boutique with Risa of Risa Does Makeup. We both got this because we loved this like really cool golden sheen. And this NARS Boutique at Caesars has actually since closed, which is very depressing, but I love this. So I'll hold on to that. Here is a Kevin Aucoin Molten Lip in copper. And I was so excited for these. I love a metal lip, but for some reason I never reached for this. I don't know why. There is copper. It's really pretty. I think it smells okay. So I'm hoping to be able to use this more in the future. I got all of these Marc Jacobs minis in like a Christmas set one year. I don't know. I'm just, I'm never really inspired by Marc Jacobs. I've really tried, but for some reason it's just never really happened for me. So before I even use these, I'm going to set these aside to donate. These are all untouched. I have a bunch of these Sephora um, Rouge Brilliance. I don't even think they make these anymore, but I really liked these and they smell, they smell okay. Let's see. That's like a nude shimmery color. That's really pretty. Texture on this one looks a little bit odd, so I'll get rid of that one. That one actually looks pretty good too. So this is number 53. Only this one felt like it was a little dry. These are those really um, balmy, moisturizing kind of products. So I'll keep these two and I'm gonna get rid of this one. Here is actually an Avon lipstick that my friend gave me. She used to work there, um, but it's like a matte color and it just, I just, uh, I know it's too drying for me and this doesn't look used. So I'm gonna put this in the donate pile. And then, oh, we have these um, Estee Lauder Pure Color Love. This is in 140 Naked City. This one still smells okay, so hold on to that. There's Naked City. And then here is Hot Rumor. There's Hot Rumor. I'll hold on to that, I really like those. I have this Milani lipstick in number 27. What formula is this? It's a Dulce Caramello. Hmm. I don't think there's a formula name on here, but there is a Dulce Caramello. It smells, hmm. it smells a little weird. It doesn't smell like clay, but it smells, I don't know. Maybe the fragrance has gone off, but the formula hasn't. Well, I will toss this. And then here is a Clinique Clove Pop. This is a Clinique Pop Matte. I remember when I first tried this, I thought, oh, it's really creamy, but it really kind of dries down and it ended up being kind of dry on my lips. So I'm going to toss that. So two of these um, Becca Color Bombs, a Lush Lip Color Bombs. And I have, I can't really see the label underneath, but I have this color, which I know I've worn. That's like a pinky color. I actually don't like that color at all, so I'm going to uh, toss that. And then I have this more nudie natural color. I'm gonna hold on to this. It smell, smells okay. I'm gonna hold on to this. I have my Rodin Tough Tomato, one of my all-time favorite like bright reddish orange colors. Isn't that pretty? And then here is a Laura Mercier lipstick in the color Milky Way. And this is totally a YouTube made me buy it. I watched, now I can't even remember whose channel it was, but I watched it and they have a completely different skin tone than me and it looked great on them. And I actually really like it, but it does make me look a little dead. But there is Milky Way. I actually really love this color. I'm gonna hold on to this. This is old, but it still smells okay. So I'm gonna hold on to this. It's probably good for maybe a couple more months. I have some of these um, nude sticks, like lip and cheek balm, and then matte lip colors, lip and cheek pencil, intense matte, intense matte. So I'm gonna get rid of these matte ones because I find them too drying on my lips. And let's take a look at these. This color I don't think I like. No, I'm not a fan of that color. So that was the Lip and Cheek Pencil in Sin. 
get rid of that. And then here is a gel color lip and cheek balm in Pulse. There's Pulse. That's more my kind of color. So I'm gonna hold on to this. Here are two Armani Ecstasy lacquers. I think I can't stand the scent of these. Oh yeah. These just smell like chemical, t smell and taste like chemicals. So I'm gonna to toss these. All right, I have this Il Maquillage uh, Super Sheer Lip Color. I, I really, really like these. They're very, very sheer. In fact, you probably won't even be able to see much on my hands, but I really like these. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Oh, this Bobbi Brown Lip Gloss. I think I thought this was a little sticky. Yeah, I was not a fan of this lip gloss, so I'm gonna to toss this. Some more Armani Lip Maestros. I absolutely love these, so I'm gonna hold on to these. Here are some mini size ones. I'll hold on to these as well. I have some of these Hourglass Lip Oils. I absolutely love these. I have Icon and Cameo, so I'm gonna hold on to these. I just got these recently. Here is a whole bunch of Bite Beauty lip products. Uh, what is this? I feel like maybe, was this a gift or something? Maybe a birthday gift? I haven't touched this, so I'm going to put that in the donate pile. Here is a lip primer, which I actually like. Let me see. Oh, you know what? This is kind of minty. I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't like minty products for my lips, so I'm gonna toss this. And then here is a pencil. I can't read the name of this, but in Madeira. I'm not even sure if they make this anymore. This actually, surprisingly, still smells okay, so I'm gonna hold on to this. Um, I have some Bite Beauty lipsticks. These are so old. Pepper. Yeah, these smell a little a little off, so I'm gonna to toss these. Bite Beauty uses natural products, so their products don't last that long. And then here is gazpacho. Yeah, I'm gonna to toss this. Oh, and then these were like double-ended lip products that they came out with holidays one year. I think they were limited edition, um, but they had like a metallic color at one end, and then, oof, and then an actual color at the other. So I'm gonna to toss that one, but this one doesn't look used. So I'm gonna put this in the donate pile. Actually, let me do a sniff test. Yeah, I think this one is okay. Let me smell this end. Yeah, this one smells okay. So let's go ahead and put this in the donate pile. This Lancome shaker, I never use. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate that. This is a sheer color from Lancome, just a nude sheer balm. I gotta have so many of these. I will hold on to this. Oh, I have a bunch of uh, Tom Ford Indian Rose travel sizes or deluxe samples. So I'll hold on to that one because that one looks used and maybe this one, this one looks new. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. Here is a dose of colors in no shade. Yeah, all their lip colors I really, really want to like, but they're just the base of them. They're just two, two orange. They're very warm. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. And then here's some Marc Jacobs New Nudes Sheer Lip Gels. I actually really, really love these. This one is in 110 Role Play. There's Role Play. I don't even know if he makes these anymore, but I thought these were awesome. Uh, 146 Anne. This one smells good too. And then 154 Dream Girl. Smells good. All right, I'm gonna hold on to all of those. Now we have some Dose of Colors lip products. So I absolutely love uh, this lip gloss, the over the top, so I'm gonna hold on to this. I also absolutely love the most. This was the more recent Desi and Katie collab, so I'm gonna hold on to that. So here are two liquid lips from the Desi and Katie collab, Hot Fire and Sauvage. I'm gonna get rid of these. I uh, I just, I don't wear liquid lips and I really, I just purchased this to support them. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these. And then here's the collab with I Love Sarai, I think. This is Brio, that's pretty, I'm gonna hold on to that. And then here is Barely There. This is just a lip gloss. That's like an opaque lip gloss. I'm not the biggest fan of opaque lip glosses actually. I don't find them very easy to use, which is why I love lip glosses. So maybe I'll get rid of this. And then, oh, I have these Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses. I love these colors, but I cannot stand how strong the fragrance is. They smell like, like fake cupcakes, 
icing, but it's so strong. So I'm going to get rid of these. I just, I can't even wear them, unfortunately, but these colors are beautiful. This is, oh, Shantikai Lip Sleek in Lychee. I love this. I'm going to keep that. Oh, another dose of colors. A Mauve Story. Is this another? Oh, I think this was part of the more recent collection. But this is a liquid lip, right? Let me see. Yeah, this is a liquid lip. Even though I like this color, I'm just, I'm not going to wear it. So I'm going to toss this. Oh, my Bite Beauty. This was like their coffee line. I got Dirty Chai. I really like this. I don't think it smells like coffee anymore, but it doesn't smell bad. I'll hold on to that. So here's some Clay de Peau Radiant Liquid Rouge. These are kind of old, but I loved these. These had such a beautiful texture, like really, really glossy. That one still smells okay. And then this one in color 18, that one smells okay too. So I'm gonna hold on to those. And then I have two of their Radiant Lip Glosses. Love these. I absolutely love this one. They're both beautiful, but this one I wear much more often. Rose Quartz, gorgeous. Love that. And then I have the old Clay de Peau Enriched Luminizer. So they've updated this and this was refillable. So I only have one case. So here are the two colors that I have. They still smell fine, so I'm going to hold on to those. I should really, I don't know, I need to figure out a better case for this refill because it just comes with this little dinky little top and it always falls off. Oh, here's the Guerlain Terracotta Kiss Delight in Peach Syrup. I love this lip gloss. I think it's so fun and pretty and it's just like, it's totally clear just with like a little shift. I love this. So I'm gonna hold on to this. I have some Ofra liquid lips. Again, I just don't wear liquid lips, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss these. I have this Revlon lip gloss, number 260. And this was another YouTube made me buy it, but it's a really pretty color. It's like the perfect nude. I think it smells a little bit off. It kind of smells like foot. <laughs> so, okay, I'm gonna toss that. And then here's an M Cosmetics, like Infinite Lip Cloud, I think this is called. And these are really pretty. Oh, this smells bad. Okay, I'm gonna toss that. But these are a great formula. Uh, another Marc Jacobs lip gloss, which I'm going to toss because I don't like the mintiness in it. A Lorac lip gloss that I'm gonna toss. I don't, I don't even like this color. Oh, the Glossier lip gloss. I love this guy, so I'm gonna hold on to that. Oh, another Il Macchiato. Why do I have two of these? They're different colors. Oh, the Rave is not the color name. Let's see. Oh, Rave Super Sheer Lip Color is the name of the entire product. And the one that I swatched before is Cabo. And this one is Honolulu. There's Honolulu. I'm gonna hold on to that. I really like that formula. Then here are a bunch of Pat McGrath uh, skinny lipsticks from... Which lip kit was this? This is the lip kit that came with the lip glitters and it came in the pink foil envelope. I was actually just playing around with these. I'm gonna take these out of this drawer and actually put them onto my Pat McGrath shelf, which I have, which I have over there. Here's another one. And here is a lip color contour from Burberry number two. I really enjoy this product. I've used this quite a bit. So I'm gonna hold on to that. So, gosh, I feel like most of these in the front I'm gonna be keeping. Like here, the Surat La Baton Rouge lip products. I'm gonna hold on to those. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of these by Terry Rouge Expert Click Sticks. These are very old and the formula is interesting. Like they glide on really smoothly, but they're almost, I don't know, like too silicone-y. I don't know, I didn't like the feeling on my lips, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss these. Here are all my Surratt lip slicks. I'm gonna hold on to these, obviously. I absolutely love the formula of these. And then I actually have two colors in his like matte formula. And me and Matt's, you know, we just kind of don't get along. That's really pretty color though. I'm gonna hold on to this and try and use this, but I'm gonna get rid of this birthday suit color, is that what it's called? Yeah, birthday suit. That one's just a little too peachy for me. So I'm gonna toss that one. Here are my NARS lip glosses. Uh, Super Vixen, one of my favorites. I'm gonna hold on to that. Instant Crash and Vita Loca. So I'm gonna hold on to those also. These I may get rid of. I can't even remember what these were. Oh, these were, are these a liquid lipstick? Yeah, maybe I should get rid of these. This one is overheated. 
And this one is Get Dirty. This came out a couple summers ago. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of these. Uh, another Marc Jacobs I'm gonna get rid of. A Kogan Doe lip gloss that I'm gonna keep. And then here are those um, Hourglass, uh, like La Femme Stilos. I can't remember the name of them. Um, but there are so many colors and I love these. This one actually smells a little funky. That's disappointing. Okay, let me toss that. This one is Futurist. That was Achiever. This is Futurist. Yeah, this smells funky too. And then this one is Lover. Yeah, they all smell really clay-like. So I'm gonna toss all of those. And then this I've been holding on to for nostalgia reasons because it was once I got back into makeup. This was one of the very first things I purchased. I was just so, I love their logo. I don't know why they changed it. I love this font. And then this was part of the Femme Nude collection. I think they had six of them. This is number six. I know this is bad. Yeah, this smells, this smells terrible. But I've been holding on to it for nostalgia reasons, so I guess I'll continue to hold on to it. And then here's an hourglass. This is like a gift. This, I think, I think this smells bad too. Okay, I'm gonna toss this. And then here's one of the newer Clay de Poe Refined Lip Luminizer, and this is an old rose. I love this. I have just recently talked about these. I have my Surat uh, Prismatique lips. I love these all. I'm gonna hold on to those. I love all of my Chanel glosses, so I'm gonna hold on to these. I love both of my Fenty glosses. I also really love these Louboutin, these like metal glosses that they came out with. I love these. Here are my Chanel Brilliant lip glosses, I think they're called. I adore these, so I'm gonna hold on to these. My two Ingla glosses, the collaboration with JLo. I love those, I'm gonna hold on to those. This could be too old. Let me see, this is the Tom Ford Lip Lacquer. This came out so long ago. It's surprisingly still smells okay, but that's the lip lacquer. It's such a pretty lip topper. So I guess I'll hold on to that. I'm surprised, but yeah, it smells fine. More of my Surratt lip glosses, which I'll hold on to. Another NARS like full vinyl lip lacquer. Yeah, and this is in Everglaze. This is like a black lip gloss. I love this. So I'm gonna hold on to that. My Tom Ford lip lacquers. I'm gonna hold on to these. This is a Guerlain gloss in 903. Gosh, I forgot I had this. That is amazing. Okay, holding on to that. <laughs> Gotta pull that out. Uh, two of my Charlotte Tilbury glosses. This is Abitha Nights, which I love. This is a great lip topper. And this one, High Society, I actually don't use very often. That actually... That smells a little funky, so I'm gonna toss that. And I thought I just wore this, let me make sure. This one smells okay, that's weird. I think this one's older too, that's very odd. Okay, my Tom Ford lip glosses, I love them, these are not going anywhere. And then I have some Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder lip glosses. This one is old, this one came out with the first collaboration, but I, oh, I love this lip gloss so much. Let's see if it's still good. I think I even have a backup of this. Mm, that smells a little funky. Yeah, I'm gonna toss this. And this one was part of the second collab, so maybe this one is still good. Yeah, this one smells okay. So I'm gonna hold on to this one. That's this color here. Oh my gosh, that is it. So, all right, let me show you what I'm keeping, what I'm getting rid of, and then we'll put them all back into this drawer. Here is an overview <laughs> of everything. I'm keeping, it's really scary when you pull it all out of the drawer. But these are all the ones that I'm keeping. And I think this is my biggest declutter, but that's everything I'm getting rid of. That's a lot of stuff, right? And then here are the ones that I'm donating that were never touched. All right, now it's time to put them all back and I'll speed this part up for those of you who like that click clackety sound. <laughs>
Wow, that is quite an improvement. And in fact, I have quite a bit of space back here to be able to move some of the overflow that is up here, down here. So I think I'm gonna do that right now. So here is my final drawer. I am so happy with it. It just looks so much better. It needed a good reorganization and it definitely needed a good decluttering. So I am glad that we did this together. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.